What is up, everybody? It's Easy, Easy Street Gaming, bringing you a partner guide on the Red Blonde, my first love. We're gonna go over what the Red Blonde is all about. Uh, we'll just get right into it. I'm showing a couple of her attacks right here. All three of these attacks. One of them is a is a triple slash. That's the first one that we showed. Show. That's not even a word. <laughs> the second one is a flying axe. It does incredible damage. And then the consecutive slash also c incredible damage. That's the whirlwind attack. I think they changed the name on that. Uh, she's a three star hero. What you want to do is you want to use as many blondes and, and get her abilities up as high as possible. You do that on at the altar. So every time you want to, every time you're advancing her, you want to go over here. This is this is the altar right here. And um, I think I, I don't have one that's three star right now. I think I only have one that's four star. But I'll we'll, we'll look at it as, as if it's a three star. So you'll go and you'll add the, these one and two stars, um, and that will advance her level. That will not only advance her 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 level, but it will advance her stats too, her hit points, her damage. It will advance everything. So I would not suggest starting off with a with a level one and look. <laughs> Don't ever add a five star to the four star, but that will bring all the way up to level twenty four. <laughs> so, uh, I would never suggest starting off with a level one character, like three star level one. Don't don't do that. You'll bring the level one over here to the altar, uh, put a bunch of bally's on her, or level one or level two heroes. Get her up as high as you can. Now, I'm not saying just feed her until she's the next level. You don't have to do that. Just get, let her have one or two levels in adventure. Um, You'll end up wasting too many of your small of the level one and twos if you just feed them all until they go to the next level. So usually before I go to adventure, I will get their level up as high as possible without actually reaching that level. I've got a couple good attacks with the red blonde beauty in it that I want to show you. Uh, while we're showing these attacks, I'll go over the war patterns. That's what everyone really wants to know. That's probably the question I get more than anything is what are the war patterns. But I just wanted to show you. There's a 10,000, that's a one shot 10,000 damage. And believe it or not, the higher hit point the enemy, the higher that damage can get. It can get way up there. She does a lot of 20,000 shots. So, war patterns. Wolf is, now here's that trip, here's, a, here's the whirlwind, I don't know even what they call it now. It used to be called the whirlwind, they call it something else. But that's like five attacks in one. She averages two to 5,000 per attack once you get her up into a five star. So, the war patterns. Probably her best war pattern will be wolf. That is the critical rate war pattern You want her critical rate to be over 60% here's another one 12,000 one shot goodbye wolf uh, Along with the wolf now just keep in mind wolf is a two pattern uh, There's two wolves to make a pattern so a lot of people would just put two on there if you don't have a, a Critical rate percentage bonus as well, then I would suggest putting more than two wolf on there uh, talk about a little that a little more later. Uh, the second one was Badger. I'm getting behind. Badger is the critical rate damage. She is all about her critical rate and critical rate damage. If you get that up very high, that's just as good as good as good attack. Um, now the Smiler Dawn, we, we all know that's the attack percentage. This is another very popular uh, war pattern that you want to use on her. She's an attacker all all through and through she's an attacker now that here's another war pattern that you may not think about But it's very effective on her because she does a lot of multiple attacks. She has a three slash attack She has a whirlwind attack. That's the uh, the Saya Th that stuns every hit during the attack So if she does a four hit attack. It's four chances to stun them So now my suggestion as far as the left hand helmet right hand use all attack percentage or for the helmet use that critical rate or critical rate damage percentage and um, when you go down to the chest and feet just make sure your second third and fourth act attributes they're all percentage that don't don't use the plus this is very very important I can't stress enough that once you start getting five star war patterns you get rid of all the four star war patterns don't upgrade your three and four star war patterns pa past like level six at the most I suggest level three and just kind of suffer through it till you get five star. It's really important to try to get five star war patterns. Uh, use the attack percentage up top. Uh, 
Easy red blonde beauty tips. Number one, feed red blonde as many blondes as possible to get her uh, to get her skills up as fi as high as possible. She has a ton of skill levels. You can get her attacks way way up there. Uh, use her, get her to five star as soon as possible. Uh, six star. She you gonna she's gonna be one of the ones that you upgrade all the way to six star. Make sure you have a healer or a shielder with her. I don't know if you noticed, but I had the green catfish, and no one could damage her because the shield. And then make sure her critical rate is over 60%. So the critical rate over 60%, no sense in having critical rate damage really high if her critical rate is 15%. So I know it's a quick, quick uh, video, but try to keep them short, keep everyone involved. Appreciate everyone for watching. Until next time, it's been easy.